The thing I don't understand is they're pushing him on this as like America's dad, this like Midwestern archetype. Like if you and it's my thought is then why are we not talking more about his DUI? Yeah, because that is it's, a very Midwestern thing. Like it's a every funny Midwestern picture. dad. Yeah, every Midwestern dad or uncle has had one. You have <laughs> one person in your family who's had a DUI. I don't understand that this. It should be a point of pride. He's America's Rob Ford. In a weird way, it, it is relatable. I think I might be the only person in the town that I live in that doesn't have a DUI. Like, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty relatable to have one. Of my generations of cousins, I'm the only one that doesn't kind of, have one. It's kind of sad. That's, that's so it, it, normal. Well, what, drinking and driving? Or the fact yeah. that people are getting that fucked up? Because both, both are sad. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. <laughs> getting in the... You know what bothers me, too, on another level? Is weed has been outlawed for so long. Yeah, it's we get it in some states, but you can't travel with it. And there's all these restrictions. And it's difficult to use if you like it. All you have to do, if you like to drink, is just not drive your friggin' car and you can avoid all these penalties and not kill people stay at home get drunk for a fourth the price get a cab go to the bar take the cab home you must want to like kill people if you want to drink and drive there's no other thing i can come up with it's uh this fake at least for men it's this it's i've noticed it a lot with southern men especially there's like this fake, oh, I'm showing my masculinity and this is the law you choose to rebel against. Like, really? It's it's kind of, I think it's stupid. Um, now that you know where we've been, find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.